guys, Miss Shanes here, and I'm back to help you with your first grade skills lessons. Today we're on Unit 4, Lesson 13. Our objectives are to switch between the past, present, and future tense verbs, read and sort words with the ED ending, and then we're going to read a new story and answer some questions. Let's start by talking about the past, present, and future tense. We learned about the words yesterday, today, and tomorrow. Yesterday is something that happened in the past. What is something that you did yesterday? Yesterday, I had a cheeseburger for dinner. That's something that happened in the past. What about today? Today is the present tense. What's something that you did today? Today, I made this video for you. Now let's look at the future. That would be tomorrow. Tomorrow is something that will happen, but hasn't happened yet. What is something that you will do tomorrow? Tomorrow, I will go to school. Now let's look at verb tense. A verb is the action word. It's the word that tells you what to do. Today, we learn about verbs. The verb in that sentence is learn. That's what we're doing. If I was talking about yesterday, I would say yesterday we learned about verbs. The verb is still the same, learn, but instead of saying to yesterday we learn about verbs, we say learned. There's a different ending. If we're talking about the future, tomorrow, we will say, tomorrow we will learn about verbs. So I added a word in there, we will learn about verbs. But it's still the same verb, learn. I want you to help me out with this example. If I say, today I munch on corn on the cob, how would I say that? in the past tense with yesterday. Yesterday, I munched on corn on the cob. I added that ed sound at the end, munched. How would I say that in the future or tomorrow? I would say tomorrow I will munch on corn on the cob. I added the word will to say that I'm gonna do it in the future. Let's look at one more example. Today I jump like a grasshopper. How would I say that in the past tense using yesterday? Yesterday, I jumped like a grasshopper. It has that extra ending there, jumped. How would I say that in the future tense for tomorrow? Tomorrow, I will jump like a grasshopper. I added the word will in there to say that it's going to be in the future. So if we're talking about yesterday, we're adding an ending on the verb. If we're talking about tomorrow, we're going to say will to show that we haven't done it yet, but we will do it. Let's look at past tense in that ed spelling. Ed is what it's going to look like when we see it. We'll see ed at the end of the word. But it can sound three different ways. It might sound like d, 
it might sound like id, and it might sound like t. So there's three different sounds you might hear, even though it's going to look the same in all of the examples. Now I want you to take out page 13.1 so we can practice some of these past tense verbs. I'm going to do this with you. So take it out right now, write your name and date on the top, and then press play when you're ready. Here's what the page should look like. We're going to sort all of these words up top into the column based on what we hear. They all look like they have an ED at the end. So we have to go by what we hear to sort these words. If you hear id like in started, say the word started. If you hear that sound id at the end, you're gonna write it under ed. If you just hear d like in grinned, say the word grinned, then you're going to write it under the D. But if we hear the T sound like in helped, we're going to write it under the T. Say the word helped. It sounds like a T, but it actually looks like ED. So these might be a little tricky, but let's not let them trick us. They put the first three down for us and cross them off. So trace the words started, grinned, and helped. And let's look at the next example. Ound, sound, sounded. What do you hear? Do you hear id, d? or t at the end of sounded. I hear id, the ed. So write the word sounded under the first column where you see ed. The next word is orm. Formed, formed. Do you hear id, d, or t in formed? I just hear d by itself. So we're going to write that under the second column where you see the d. Formed is going to go under the D. If you get behind, just pause the video. The next word is p -ark -d. parked. What do you hear there in parked? Do you hear id, d, or Parked. I just hear the d sound. So that would go under the second column. D, d, parked. Let's look at the next word. P, oi, nt, point. Pointed. Let's think about it. Does it go under id, d, or t? Pointed. I heard id at the end of pointed. So we're going to put it in the first column under ed. Pointed. 
Let's look at the next word. Mm, aisle, smile, smiled. What do you hear? Id, d, or t, and smiled. I just hear the d sound. So that would go under the second column, the D. Let's see what's next. B, A, K, bake, baked. What do you hear at the end of baked? Is it id, d, or t? Baked. I hear the t sound at the end of baked. So we're going to put it under the third column with the t at the top. There are three words left. I'm going to leave these last three words for you. So this word, this word, and this word are for you to finish. Make sure you figure out which column they go in and write them down before you submit your paper. Next, we've got a new story to read in The Green Fern Zoo. This story is called Big Cat. That means it's on page 30. Before we start, let's look at some words we might come across. First, we have some words with the sound E in them. Remember, two E's say E. D. Keep. Feed. Deer, sheep, tree, teeth. We'll also see some words with the er sound. Hunters, Robert, bigger, panther, fern, sister, gamper. Here are some words with the or sound. Sort, or, for, short. And then some tricky words. Do, your, to, and some. Let's look at our vocabulary for this story. The first word is bobcat. A bobcat is a wild cat with a spotted coat, short tail, and tufted ears. The next word is tame. Tame means to be gentle, not wild. Panther. A panther is a big cat that is often black. Tan. Tan is just a light brown color. Scamper. Scamper means to run quickly and playfully. We're going to read today's story, Big Cats, to find out what kind of big cats are at the Green Fern Zoo, what they look like, and what they eat. Big cat. Do you like cats? If you do, look there in the graph. Do you see the cat? Bobcat. That is not the sort of cat that you keep in your home and feed cat food. That is a bobcat. Bobcats are not 
team. Food Bobcats like. Bobcats are good hunters. They hunt rabbits, rats, and sometimes deer and sheep. That Bobcat's name is Robert, or Bob for short. Get it? Because he's a Bobcat. And the caption under the picture says, Bobcats are not tame. That means that they are wild. Ooh, look at that cat. Panthers. If you look up on that rock, you will see a cat that is bigger than a bobcat. It is a panther. What panthers look like? Panthers can have spots. They can be tan too. Here at the Green Fern Zoo, we have two black panthers. The name of this one is Jack. And here the caption under the picture says, Panthers are bigger than bobcats. That's Jet's sister, Flash, up on that tree branch, up on the tree branch. Flash has strong legs that help her run fast. She has sharp teeth and sharp claws that help her hunt rabbits and deer. She can use her claws to scamper up a tree if she needs to. You can see that she is not all black like Jet. She has some spots. And the caption on the picture says panthers use their strong legs and claws to get up trees. Look at her on top of a tree. Let's go back to our questions. Let's see what we've got for today. How is a bobcat different from a cat that lives in your home? Like the cat you just saw on my counter. How are they different? Well, we feed our own cats in our house, right? Bobcats hunt for their food. Rabbits, rats, and sometimes deer and sheep. Which cat is bigger, the bobcat or the panther? We said the panther was bigger than the bobcat. What color are panthers? They're often black, but sometimes tan and sometimes spotted. What are the names of the two panthers at the Green Fern Zoo? One of them was called Jet and the other Flash. I wonder if that's because they're really fast. Why might a panther need to scamper up a tree? I was thinking they might need to scamper up a tree to find food or to get away from a predator. Those are both good ideas. And that's all we've got for today. Great job, and I will see you tomorrow.